Okay, let's see how well you know how to graph lines in algebra. And uh, graphing lines or linear equations is an absolutely critical skill in algebra. And what I have here for you is a four question pop quiz. I'm going to show you the questions here in a second. But uh, this will be a nice little uh, quick gauge of your understanding on how to graph lines. Now, if, you, if you're just starting out uh, with algebra, you know, you may not know everything, so that's okay. But just use this. Uh, a little quiz as feedback. Now, if you've already um, taken algebra, then you should be able to handle these questions quite nicely. But anyways, I'm going to show you the questions here in a second. It will take you about a minute or two to actually complete this quiz if you know what you're doing. But again, I'm going to go through the solutions one by one. But uh, before we get going, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically, my passion is to help those of you that uh, really uh, want to get ahead in uh, your math class. So if, whether you've been struggling or if you feel like you cannot learn math for whatever reason, maybe you think you have a bad math teacher, and maybe you do have a bad math teacher, or maybe you just failed a couple math uh, courses in the past or just got math anxiety, or maybe you want to get ahead. Whatever the case is, I can relate to it as a math teacher. So I understand where you're coming from, and I can help you. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, um, I can definitely help you get ahead. So uh, just go ahead and uh, when you go to my website, you'll see multiple different courses uh, that you can kind of enroll in. Now, if you're taking any test that has math on it, so for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, you really have to know your stuff uh, on these particular exams when it comes to math. There's a, always a, a critical math section on these particular exams and, and usually it's the hardest part of these exams so I can help you prepare and pass those uh, exams. Now if you homeschool you definitely have to check out my homeschool math program. I've been working with homeschoolers for uh, years so I think you'll really like what uh, you uh, will see. Now if you don't have any math notes don't panic you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video but I've been teaching math for decades. You have to uh, take great math notes if you want great math grades. Just remember that little rule of thumb and you will uh, thank me later. All right so let's get into this graphing lines quiz and I'm going to show you the questions and then uh, you can work on these for a minute or two. But let me go ahead and read the questions to you. So our first question is simply graph this line uh, x is equal to negative 3. Okay, now don't look this up. Be honest with yourself. Don't look up the answers. You know, that then this is really not truly a quiz. Just take a piece of scrap, scrap paper out and work on these. Okay, literally uh, will take you about a minute. All right, our second question is I want you to find the slope between these two points, 1, 4, and negative 2, 6. So find the slope between these two points. Number three, I want you to graph this line. Y is equal to 1 half X plus 3. And then our last question for this little quiz is to graph this line. 5X minus 2Y is equal to 10. Okay, so um, obviously I'm going to go through these solutions one by one. If you, uh, I would encourage you to pause the video, work on this for a minute or two, and then uh, we will see the solutions. But I'm going to get into the solutions now. So if you don't want to see the answers, pause the video. All right, so let's get going. And let's start off with our first question here. Right, and that is to graph this line, x is equal to negative 3. And this is typically, when you first start learning how to graph lines, you learn how to graph x equals some number and y equals some other number. These are the most basic lines. And this is uh, oftentimes where students get very confused. They're so easy to graph. But let's just go ahead and first answer the question. Uh, the graph of x equals negative 3 is this line right here. So you go to negative 3 on the x-axis and you draw a vertical line through negative 3. So this is what you uh, hopefully answer. Now if you did get this right, then let me go ahead and give you a happy face with a check mark. Very good. But just remember, when you have an x equals a number, this is a vertical line. Okay, some sort of vertical line through that number. And y equals a number like y equals 5. That will be a horizontal line. Very, very easy, but easy to confuse as well. All right, so hopefully, uh, you know, this cleared up any confusion. But uh, I wanted to start things off with a nice, easy problem. Let's move on to our second question. Okay, so number two is we want to find the slope between these two points. Now, 
If you have, um, you know, questions on this stuff, I want to give you a couple of suggestions. One, I have tons of videos in my pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel that you can learn about this. And I teach this uh, thoroughly in any one of my algebra courses, pre-algebra, algebra one, college algebra, doesn't make a difference. Whatever level of algebra, you can, uh, you'll you learn this stuff uh, in my courses. But let's get to this question. So we want to find the slope between these two points. So what we're going to need is the slope formula. Okay, now the slope is a big uh, topic when it comes to graphing lines. You have to understand the slope fully. But the slope basically is the steepness of a line. Okay, and there's a lot to know about the slope. I'm not going to cover it uh, entirely in this little uh, video. But uh, by definition, it's the rise over the run of a line. And the way we find the rise of the line, that's how much the line's going up this way, is we subtract the y components of these uh, x, y uh, points. And then the run is the differences of the x components. Now, this is a uh, real um, sensitive place for students because they typically will make a lot of mistakes. So here's what you want to do. Pick one of the points. I'm going to pick one, four. And now let's start subtracting the y's. So the y's are going to be 4 and 6. So I'm starting with this point's information. Okay, so I'm starting with this 4. Okay, this is my y. And I'm going to subtract from this point's information. That's 6. Okay, so this is the differences of the y's here. Now, the reason why I underline this is because I started with the 4 up here on top. Uh, when I take the differences of the x's, I need to start with this point down there, it's information one. So if you started with negative two and you had four up here and you started with negative two down in the bottom here with the X's, you would get this wrong. So you could start with one point or the other, it doesn't make a difference. You just have to be consistent about it. Now, if this is still kind, uh, still kind of confusing for you, then you need to follow through with more of my videos on the slope. But let's go ahead and finish this up. So the differences of the X's will be one minus a two, one minus minus two. So that's gonna look like one minus a negative two or minus two. So now we can put this together. Four minus six is negative two. And then one minus a minus two is gonna be one plus two or three. So your slope is uh, negative two thirds. Okay, so that's what you should have came up with. And if you got that right, that's very good. I'll go ahead and give you another happy face and a few stars just to make you feel extra special. So that's very good, okay, that you got this slope problem right. But uh, now let's go ahead and get into actually graphing lines. All right, so our uh, third question is to graph this line. Now, what uh, form is this line in? So here's a little bonus question here. What is the form of this line? Well, it's in y equals mx plus b form. And what does that mean? Well, this B, which corresponds to this 3, is the what? Okay, well, this is the y-intercept. It's the point where the line crosses through the y-axis, and the M is the slope. Okay, so this uh, 1 half is the slope. So we can use these two pieces of information to plot a line. Let's go ahead and see how this is done. So the way you use or the way you graph a line in y equals mx plus b form is we start with the y-intercept. Okay, this is the point three uh, where this line crosses through the y-axis. So just go to one, two, three. Here's just a quick sketch. So one, two, three. That's one point that's on the line. So I'm going to put that point right on the y-axis at three. Okay. Now I got one point. How many points do I need to graph a line? Well, if I have a point here and a point here, then I can graph a line through it. So I need two points. So how can I get my second point? Well, we can use the slope information. And think of the slope as like driving directions to your second uh, point. Okay. So here my slope is uh, one half. So what does this mean? Well, again, it's the rise over the run. But really, you always want to think of the slope as going up and over to the right, or that's for a positive slope, or down and over to the right for a negative slope. Okay, again, there's a lot more on this on uh, slope, but here, uh, one over two, one half is our slope. We're gonna rise up one and run over to the right two. So from that point, three, we're gonna go up one and then go over two. Okay, that's our run. Our run is always to the right, and our rise is either uh, going up if it's positive or down if it's negative. So where we land is our second point. Now I could find the coordinates here for this. This would be the point, what, two, 
and let's see, this is one, two, three, four, so two, four would be this coordinate, and this coordinate here would be uh, zero, uh, three. But uh, even if you just plotted these two points and understood this and drew, uh, graphed this line or sketched this quick line, well, that's what counts. And if you got this right, that's outstanding. Okay, let me go ahead and give you a happy face with a few extra check marks and a big star. All right, so already right now, if you got these three questions right, three out of four, you're tracking pretty nicely. Okay, but let's see if you can graph this final line. Okay, so this line here is not in y equals mx plus b form. This is in standard form, okay? And we call that like ax plus by is equal to c. And when lines are in standard form, uh, the best way to graph these lines is to use the x and y intercepts, okay? Now, the x and y intercepts are the uh, locations where the line crosses through the x-axis and the y-axis. And the easiest way to find that is to create yourself a nice little table and we're going to figure out, uh, we're going to plug in 0 for x and 0 for y. Okay, again, this is just a quick review of how to do this. But uh, if you're lost on this stuff, you're going to have to go through and really, really practice this because this is, uh, this is extremely important in algebra. But let's go ahead and um, see what I'm doing here. So we're going to figure out what y is when x is 0. Okay, so we're going to plug in 0 right there for x. Okay, then we'll solve for y. So that's going to be what? Well, 5 times 0 minus 2y is equal to 10. So 5 times 0 is 0. So that's negative 2y is equal to 5. Uh, sorry, equal to 10. Here, let me write that a little bit better. Negative uh, 2y is equal to 10. Now I can divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. So y is equal to negative 5. So 0, this right here is a point, 0, negative 5 on the line, okay? So x is zero and y is negative five. This is the y-intercept, okay? All right, so now that we have the y-intercept, let's go ahead and get the x-intercept. And the way we do that is to figure out what x is when y is equal to zero, okay? So let's plug in y for zero there. So we get what, five x minus two times zero. Erase this here is equal to 10. You can see that's just going to be 5x is equal to 10, or x is equal to 2. Okay, so that's the second point, 2, 0. So x is 2, y is 0. That's that point. That's the x-intercept. So the x-intercept right there, and this is the y-intercept. You're going to have to know how to do this stuff in algebra, okay? Uh, so, you know, you could convert this line to y equals mx plus b and then graph it. But again, you're still going to have to be able to answer questions. Hey, where are the x, y intercepts? Now we're going to draw our line through uh, those two x and y intercepts, those two points, and we are done. Okay, so how did you do? Okay, hopefully you got a four out of four. And if that is the case, let me go ahead and just give you an awesome happy face with the good old 1985 flat top haircut, A plus 100%. Pretty awesome, okay? Looks like you've been paying attention in your algebra uh, course, or maybe you've been watching a lot of my videos. Either way, nice job. Now, if you didn't get any of these uh, right, don't panic, just use this as feedback. But if you're planning on taking algebra, or if you have already took algebra, and if you don't remember this stuff, well, you know, I would encourage you to go back and review. So how can you review? Well, I'll leave you with two uh, suggestions. One, I have tons of videos on my uh, YouTube channel that can help you out. By the way, if this video helped you out, if you enjoyed this small little quiz, don't forget to smash that uh, like button. But uh, anyways, I have tons of videos on my channel that can help you out and review this stuff. Okay, and hopefully you'll become a subscriber as well. Now, the second thing you can do if you're really, truly serious about wanting to uh, upgrade your math skills, your algebra skills, is to get into one of my algebra courses. Again, you can just go to my math help program. Uh, you can follow the link in the description of this video and then check out a course that's right for your level and then really, you know, go that route as well. But either way, if you're planning on taking math soon or if you need to kind of uh, get your math skills up to speed, graphing lines is a critical skill. But um, anyways, so just remember, uh, there's a lot of, you know, free stuff out there that can help you out on the internet, okay? If you like my teaching style, I would encourage you to use my YouTube videos, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. 
Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.